I'm joined now by Tim Chen. He's the founder and chief organizer of Taiwan Homeschool Advocates. Thanks so much for joining us. As we heard, education is so important for Chinese. So why homeschool? Well, it's, it's homeschooling has been um, said uh, as an ancient practice in China. And, uh, you know, as early, as early as 2,500 years ago, uh, when Confucius started doing teaching, it was pretty much a homeschool. And uh, so, um, and also, as your report earlier mentioned, that parents are very keen on education. And uh, good education is considered a success in life in Chinese society. So therefore, uh, parents are a bit fed up with the current school system in China right now. Uh, part of it because it's over exam driven and uh, so kids are not getting enough uh, time to explore what, what other subjects they want to do. And also it's very competitive and only the fittest will survive, which means that uh, a lot of parents feel like they can they can have a better chance of educating their own kids and providing their own curriculum with, without going through a public school system. So we saw in our story that one of uh, one Chinese student get into Harvard who was homeschooled. Compared to traditional students, how successful are homeschooled kids when it comes to passing in Gaokao or getting into a good college? How are those homeschooled students being received? Well, the result is pretty much mixed. Um, the uh, the story you mentioned about, I mean, the parents obviously uh, designed the whole curriculum towards uh, going to a Harvard League, uh, Ivy League school like Harvard. And so therefore, they are dropping all the Chinese subjects which are required for the, uh, the Gaokao. But uh, there are also individuals who, who did very well in, in, the, in the Gaokao. I mean, they are 15 years old, uh, passing the college entrance exam in China through homeschooling, but many more are just want to do a, just want to have a good education and a happy student life. They don't necessarily want to be in a very competitive environment and uh, go into a in the university. So I think it's pretty much a question of individual parents' choice and the kids' exp uh, kids speciality. And uh, some kids are homeschooled because they want to be, uh, uh, they want to grow up happily. Uh, my kid, uh, my daughter, I have a 19 year old daughter who is homeschooled and, uh, and she wants to be a ski instructor since she was 14. So right now she's a ski instructor and she's very happy. She chose not to go to university. So I guess it's up to the individual parents and the kids what they want to do. I think that's the beauty of homeschooling is to provide that choice, which they didn't have if you just go to a school. But there's still such a small number. How do homeschools in China compare to other countries uh, like the United States, for example? Do you see it growing in right. popularity? Well, uh, the number is very small. Uh, in 2013, uh, the 21st Century uh, Research Institute in Beijing did a study and they reckon that there are 18,000 homeschoolers in China which is out of the 160 million uh, K to 12 year old I mean, uh, kids, that is very, very small. That's like 0.01% or one in 10,000 compared to United States, which uh, right now there are 2 million people homeschooled and the number is roughly 2% of, uh, of the student population, which is very, very small. However, I think that the trend is there. Uh, we see uh, urban parents who are fed up with the school system and uh, think that school is not provide enough diversity and choices and they have a different life career goal. Uh, some want to go to U.S. universities, others want to pursue happiness in life or simply they just want to learn uh, something completely different. Like, uh, for example, parents may want their kids to learn traditional Chinese uh, cultures instead of what's being told today in the school. So they choose anything they want and, and just mushroomed. And uh, there are um, not only individual parents who are homeschooling, there are homeschool co-op. Uh, there are uh, religious groups like a Buddhist uh, sects will, will start homeschooling, teaching Buddhism and Christian uh, church, house church are doing the same thing too. So I think there are more and more people who are turning to homeschooling because they are not, uh, the, school system, uh, the state schools cannot satisfy their need. All right, Tim Chen, thank you so much for your insight. We appreciate you joining us. Thank you.